Okay, all right, let's go. Let's get this on with. I'm getting excited, a little bit antsy. This is last uh, Darkstalker's video amongst this batch. Um, War Agony, it looks like my opponent shall be... Uh, Baby Bonnie Hood. I think that's what her full name thing was. This should go over well, I hope, I think, maybe, possibly. Let's go, let's go. Oh, shit. What the fuck is going on? That's too many videos doing that now. I don't remember... Um... The other video being this out of sync, though. The one I did with Victor, I don't remember it being out of sync like this. And that's not making me happy. Not at all whatsoever. Uh, I'm gonna have to play around with stuff, I guess, before I go ahead and produce this. Or render it, or whatever. And hopefully I can resolve it. I don't know though, but I get figure, you know, fuck it, it's worth a check. Still afraid? Come and feel the acme together. Green Scream. I think this shall be QB again, Queen B, I'm pretty sure that's her name. Ooh, let me get information about Morrigan. I almost forgot again. Fucking shit. <laughs> Let's go! Come on now! Uh, this is a, amongst fighting games. This has to be one of my more favorite -er of games. Doc Stalkers was badass, even though I suck at it. But it's fun, regardless. Let's go! Come on now! Anytime now! Information, information, come on now. Sweet, got a perfect? Cool. I thought you'd amuse me. Guess I was wrong. Forever Torment. And I'll be fighting El Raptor, Lord Raptor. This should be cool. Let's see. Come on now. Anytime now. Let's go. Did I already skip her? Morgan Ainsland. Her country of origin is Scotland. She's a succubus. Her birth year is 1678. She's uh, 172 centimeters tall and weighs 57.6 Kilogram. Let's see. I guess she has a lot more information on her than usual characters, so she has her own page altogether, I suppose. Morgan in Namco Cross Capcom. Should be cool. Uh, her first appearance was Dark Suckers, The Night Warriors. Uh. Let's see, Morgan Ainsland. You are so sweet. I'll take away your body and soul. Uh, Morgan Ansorando is a video character, video game character from the Darkstalker series of fighting games was developed by Capcom. She was introduced in Darkstalkers: The Night Warriors in 1994. Since then. Since then, she has also appeared in multiple video games outside of the Darkstalkers uh, franchise. Uh, it is widely perceived as the most popular Darkstalkers character and one of the flagship Capcom characters. Morgan is a succubus who is very vain and lives for little more than excitement of battle. While Dimitri officially fills the role, it has often been suggested and implied that Morgan is the main character of the Darkstalkers series. Due to her importance in the overall story as well as her many appearances outside of her game series, 
She may even be considered a protagonist anti-hero because despite her demonic appearance and heritage, she is not actually evil. Sometimes her name is written Ainsley. Or Ainsley. Uh, I win against Lilith. Cool. Repetition is worse than death, right? Morgan is named after Morrigan, a goddess from the Celtic or Celtic mythology. Felicia, one of my favorite characters. She appears as a beautiful young woman with long, light green hair, large breasts, a tight leather leotard trimmed in feathers, purple nylons with bat patterns, black boots, and bat-like wings on her back and on top of her head. Morgan can reshape these wings into spikes and blades when attacking her enemies, as well as using them to shield herself from any enemy attacks. Her wings can also separate from her and form into a cloud of bats. She uses a variety of magical attacks as well. Morgan was created by Akira Yasuda, Akiman, early in the development of Darkstalkers. The development team decided to have two female characters, a Catwoman and a female vampire character who would become Felicia and Morgan respectively. Initially, Felicia was intended to be the sexy female character of the title, while the vampire would be the cute female character. However, Morgan's design took on a tone that emphasized sexiness, causing Felicia's character to concept to be altered accordingly. You are as energetic as ever. Just don't be in a rush. In such a rush. Um, her costume mirrors her personality somewhere... Her personality, somewhere between a bat-like demon and a charming lover. Morgan has had exactly the same 2D sprite set as far as Capcom vs. SNK2. Looks like a fight in Pyron, as she did in the original Darkstalkers game. Her sprites look especially out of place in the Capcom vs. SNK series, as they gain a black outline in the borders. She received, received an updated character model only in Tatsunoku vs. Capcom, which was also the first game in which she was featured as a 3D rendered model. In Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Femme Fatale Pack, it is also available for free with pre-order from GameStop, Morgan received a downloadable content costume based on an outfit she wore in the anime Night Warriors Dark Stalkers Revenge. Uh, great. Morgan is a succubus born in 1678 in Scotland and then she adopted daughter of Belial of the Angel of the House. When she was born, Morgan was extremely powerful, an S-class noble according to some Japanese source books. So much that Belial sealed her away sealed away part of her power. I would give it sixty-nine points. Ooh. Um one third in himself to be returned returned upon his death, uh, and one third in a pocket dimension, which eventually became a being of its own, a succubus named Lilith. Unaware of Belial's action, Morrigan grew up and found her life as the queen of the night in Ainsland Castle's doll. So she frequently visited the human world to look for entertainment. On one occasion, Morrigan was drawn to a strange power, which would turn out to be the fire demon Pyron, and ventured into the human world once again. Upon her return, she was informed of Belial's death, and she was the next successor to the Ainsland throne. Although she is now rightfully the ruler of Makai, she shirks her responsibilities and seeks to continue her life as before. Morrigan, Morrigan eventually meets Lilith, and the two being, beings merge into one, fully restoring Morrigan's power. Let's see if I can get this. Uh, I definitely am not going to get enough of all of this. Morgan was the original Dark Sucker to break out of her original fighting game series and be transplanted into the Marvel vs. Capcom series. In Marvel vs. Capcom Clash of Superheroes, not only was Morgan president, but an alternate Lilith style Morgan was a secret character. In her intro sprite, Lilith appears and merges with her in a nod to when the two merged in Morgan's ending in Vampire Savior. In Marvel vs. Capcom 2, New Age of Heroes, she is joined by fellow Darkstalkers Anacharis, B.B. Hood, and Felicia Morgan Axe as the sole representative of the, of the Darkstalkers series in the Capcom vs. SNK games, making appearances in both Capcom vs. SNK Millennium Fight 2000 and Capcom vs. SNK 2 Marker Millennium 2001. 
Morgan represented the series along with Felicia and BB Hood in SNK vs. Capcom the Match of the Millennium, and was Darkstalker's representative for fighting crossovers with Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Cross of Heroes, Tatsunoko vs. Capcom, Ultimate All Stars, and Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds, and Mar Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3, accompanied in these titles by Felicia and he. Sinko. I want to say that's how you say it. He's Sinko. I'm definitely not going to get this next paragraph in in time. I kind of rushed that last one just to get it. But I guess I did do, do good timing. If I would have started all the way from the beginning, I could have probably done it, but I didn't do it. So, uh, unfortunately, that's it. And I beat her in a pretty decent amount of time compared to some of my other run throughs. So, anyway, it looks like I'm coming to an end here. I want to thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, check out other videos on my channel. You may enjoy more than this one, if not just as much or something. And until whenever, I hope to see you again soon. All that good stuff and goodbye.